River State political drama seem for a strategic move unfold. In the heart of the River State political landscape, a new chapter unfolds as Sim Fobara embroiled in a bitter fraud with former Governor Winke takes center stage. I told you, I told you that Sim Fobara and the Edison Ehi camp has hijacked the River State government. Sim Fobara, once an ally turned adversary of Winke, now makes strategic maneuvers to solidify his grip on power. The recent appointment of Victor Okojombo as the Speaker of the River State House Assembly marked a pivotal moment in the past struggle. Yes, the drama didn't stop there. In a move to further consolidate his influence, Sim Fobara orchestrated the screening and confirmation of a new commissioner nominee. Danagogo Ibrahima's nominee stirred controversy with questions quelling around his loyalty to the Fobara camp. Like you can see lawmakers grilling him with questions surrounding his loyalty. Let's take a look at the event and I'll be coming back to give you my thoughts about it. Do want to intentionally hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this video for more people to get to see what is happening in River State. Take a look. Expectedly, the majority of the questions thrown at the commissioner and nominee bother on the issue of loyalty and commitment to service. We know some persons leave, came back, and they still live again. We want to know what will be your commitment to the people of River State and the government. I am not a godson to any godfather. I have been a private man and I've always been in private practice. If my appointment is confirmed, I, I, I will spend my time at the business and the pleasure of His Excellency. I owe no man no obligation to defect to any other party or any other person. So those who have defected, they have reason for defecting and come, coming back again. But for me, it's not a mark of integrity. With the question and answer session over, Danago Goiboroma was then granted permission to take his leave to allow the lawmakers to deliberate further on his nomination. Their deliberations, however, didn't take much time as the House unanimously agreed to confirm his nomination as a member of the River State Executive Council. All those in favor that a Boroma Dagogo SAN should be confirmed as a commissioner in the River State Executive Council say aye. Those against say nay. Any abstention, the ayes have it. With the matter of the day concluded, the House immediately adopted a motion moved by the Leader of the House to adjourn sitting until Thursday 16th of May 2024. Mr. Speaker shall arise. You have seen it for yourself that despite the scrutiny, Iboroma SAN emerged and was appointed to River State Government Executive Council. Yes, with each strategic move, Sim Fobara tightens his grip on power, leaving his adversaries scrambling to regain control. As the political landscape in River State continues to evolve, one thing remains certain, the drama is far from over. Please intentionally do well to hit the like button and drop your thoughts in the comment section. Smash the subscribe button if you're new to our station. Turn on the notification bell so that you can be duly informed when we put out more informative content. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers. We really did not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. See you on our next video. Bye for now.